create purchasing documents from approved quotations. So we have run through the entire cycle from RFQ to quotation to approval of the quotations. Now it's time to leverage those approved quotations in purchasing documents to see whether we are getting the same price as negotiated with the suppliers on quotations. So to test that, we need to create one purchasing document such as a purchase order. So let me minimize this and then I will go to purchasing responsibility and then I will navigate to purchase order, then purchase orders. And here I'm going to create a new purchase order for a supplier G Plastic, who was one of the suppliers for which we have approved the quotation. And we'll give exactly the same site as it was there on the quotation. And then I will come down and here I'm going to give the item which was also there on the quotation such as this and as you could see presently the quantity is 0 and price is 50 so let's make the quantity as 50 and then we will go to catalog and here we will look for the quotation by hitting the find button so it lists down all the documents that are there in the catalog and here I would look for the list price so as you could see that's the price so let's take this price so 50 quantity is coming here as the break quantity and the break price is 48 to use this particular line you got to hit the select button and look at that the price automatically changed from 50 to 48 and then you can save this record and you can also see the source document it must be here somewhere as you could see the source is the catalog quotation and the quotation number is 502 so there is a reference as well as to how the price has come to this particular purchase order line now from here on you can proceed further for the rest of the procure to pay life cycle.